So this question starts off by providing us with this quadratic equation here, x squared minus 34x plus c is equal to zero. It goes on to say in the given equation, c is a constant, okay? The equation has no real solution. So very important, the equation has no real solutions. If c is greater than n, all right? What is the least possible value of n? All right, so we have a little bit of a twist on this question. There's a couple of things going on. First of all, I need to understand what does it mean for an equation to have no real, hint, word, solutions. That means that the solutions that it does have are imaginary. That's what that means. If it has no real solutions, that means what it does have are imaginary solutions. So anytime I see this statement, no real solutions on the digital SAT, I'm immediately going to think about the discriminant. Why am I going to think about the discriminant? Well, first of all, what is the discriminant? The discriminant is b squared minus 4ac. And the things you should know about how to use this formula is if b squared minus 4ac is greater than zero, you're going to get two real, or the equation will have two real solutions. If this is less than zero, you'll have in terms of real solutions, you'll have no real solution, so I'll just write it that way. Of course, I could have also said in that scenario that you will have two imaginary solutions, okay? I haven't seen the word imaginary used on this test, though, so we'll just keep it to if b squared minus 4ac is less than zero, then you have no real solutions. And if b squared minus 4ac actually equals zero, then you just have one real solution. All right. So it's a little bit of review. Obviously, the one we care about is the second one where it's less than zero because we want no real solutions. So again, I'm going to write this down again. B squared minus 4ac is less than zero. Given the equation that I have, a is 1 because that's the coefficient in front of the x squared. b is negative 34. c is itself. So let's start plugging things in. b squared will be negative 34 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1 times c, must be less than 0. In my calculator, 34 squared is 1156, or 1156. This becomes minus 4c is less than 0. Subtract 1156 from both sides. And I'm left with negative 4c is less than negative 1156. I can then divide both sides by negative 4. Let's keep in mind, anytime you divide an inequality or multiply an inequality by a negative, the inequality symbol changes directions. So now it's going to open up to the left. Negative 4 divided by negative 4, of course, is just 1. So I just have a C on this side. And go back to my calculator and see what is 1156 or negative 1156 divided by negative 4. And that is 289. So C has to be greater than 289 in order for there to be no real solutions. So the question says the equation has no resolutions if C is greater than N. And then ask me what is the least possible value of N. Well, N has to equal 289, right? Like we're just matching these two things together. C is greater than 289. The question says C is greater than N. So, of course, these two things go together. N can equal, or the smallest thing N can equal, is 289. So that's our answer, 289.